Hey everyone, we're gonna be changing the tail light. This bulb right here is burned out. This is a 2020 Ford EcoSport. First thing you do is, of course, just gonna open the door. And you're gonna need these two screws right here. Your Torx, and I'll be right back. Okay, you're gonna remove these two screws right here. The torque. So that's a right there. It is. It's a T25 for so it's T25 torque. I'm gonna remove these two screws and I'll be right back. There's an access panel right here on the inside. It's like this. You're gonna open it up like so. like a nut you can see it right here you gotta remove this you gotta remove this and pull this out but it's right inside this pocket in here inside you'll fill it once you get inside that pocket and you remove this see it right here that's actually that actually goes right here that's the piece right there that actually locks it in from the inside once you move that you just stick your hand there and just push out and it'll pull right out Next step, you're gonna remove this wiring harness right here, and then you gotta take it apart to get to the bolts. You can't really see it in the light here. There's four Phillips head screws, one right there, one right there, one back there, and one there. Take those four Phillips head screws off, and then you're just gonna break this seal. You're gonna lift this up like so. And there's your bulbs. That's your brake. And then here's your, uh, your turn signal. We're gonna change that bulb right there. Hey, there's the burned out bulb. I can't get it to focus, but that's a burned out bulb. There's a new bulb installed, the new brake light. And this is the bulb for these, the, the brake light is 7443 in the Sylvania. That's the, uh, the brake light bulb. Now we're gonna put this back on. Make sure you keep that gasket, make sure that gasket gets back in place. And you're gonna be putting this right back on here. Hang on one second. As you can see, I tucked that gasket back in. That, that gasket gets tucked in all the way around. So you gotta make sure you tuck that gasket back in. We're gonna go ahead and put this back on, like so. Push it down and we'll put the four Phillips head screws in. One here, one here, one on the back side, and then the other side. But I'm gonna put these screws in real quick and I'll be right back. All right, there it is back on. There's the four screws, one there, one there. One there, let's see, one there, and one there, the back there. Um, but you basically, you gotta, they, they have it sealed now to where you don't have a bunch of wires where they can get corroded stuff. It's actually, it's a pain. It's a little, it takes a little bit longer to change the bulb now, but it's still, it's a lot better. The bulbs, uh, the wires won't get as corroded and everything, won't have as many problems. We're gonna go put it back on the vehicle now. I'm gonna plug the wiring harness back into here. I'm gonna plug that in real quick. Okay, we're gonna plug the wiring harness in. Like that, it's just clicked in. Now, I'm gonna grab this long nut. It's like a nut, basically. We're gonna stuff, take this back in here. You see there's a spot right here. It's gonna go right in there. This bolt is gonna go right in there. And then this clips, you see this little right here? That actually slides into that. So we're gonna slide it in like this. We're gonna try. There. All right, now I'm gonna reach around inside. Can you come over here? Reach around inside here. And I gotta put that back on. No, that's all right, just, there it is. I feel it right now. Now I'm gonna put this long nut back on. I'm gonna tighten it up. Snug, but don't go too tight. All right, now that's in. So now we're going to close this, this access, excess hatch. And there's another one on the other side to do the same thing. The last thing we got to do is we got to put these two screws in. The torque. 
apologize for the lighting, but I'm going to do this in the dark right now. Push it over, just make sure you get it lined up before you do it. I'll snug it all the way down until you get the second one in. You have to kind of push in on it to get it. And you just tighten these down like so just snug don't go too tight you don't want to break it okay all right now I'm gonna get in the vehicle and hit the brake pedal for me here here's the keys okay the telltale signs on this bulb was bad is well right now you see it's on now the light um but the uh, turn signal because she's going to hit the brakes all right see now you have a brake light we didn't have a brake light that bulb was out again the yellow one's a turn signal up here but that's a brake the telltale signs that let us know that the brake light was bad or had been blown as the right turn signal started flashing really fast and when a turn signal goes really fast like that nine out of ten times it's going to be the bulbs burned out that's how you change a bulb on a 2020 Ford EcoSport. Take care.